six, five, four, three, two, one. All right, fuck it, I'm going in. What's up, guys? So, sorry if it's a little bit of wind noise, but it is windy. And um, you already know a little bit about what this video is about by the title. I've already drained all my old coolant out, and I do have these here. So I'm gonna be upgrading to Samco hose kit. I'm gonna be switching all the hoses out to Samco, and I got the upgraded Samco hose clamps. Um, main reason I got these is for one, they're better than stock. They look cooler, and uh, they should hold up against cracking and stuff like that, you know, down the road in 10 years. I do plan on keeping this bike. And these are the proper hose clamps. The ones that are on the RS34 or one-time use, and they are prone to leaking. I haven't had any issues, but I've been reading a lot of people with the stock hose clamps having leaking coolant or whatever, so I'm upgrading those as well. And these are reusable so that you can see that they have the, the proper head there and uh, just way better clamps in general over stock. It's really easy, so I'm not gonna do a stupid step-by-step -step video. Mainly because it is that easy, you just drain the coolant and do one hose at a time. So really, what I'm doing is I'm gonna be changing this hose, those hoses, all the coolant hoses here, here, and yeah, it's really easy. You just do one hose at a time. So take this off, put the other one, the new one on. Take that one off, put the new one on. You don't want to take them all off at the same time and then you end up screwing up and it's just a pain in the ass. So literally just take one off, put the new one on. And then once I get all the Samco hoses on the bike, I'm going to do a coolant flush with distilled water and then put engine ice in. Uh, decided to go with engine ice, give it a shot. Normally I just use regular coolant. That's how I roll, but this time engine ice, uh, it can handle up to minus 32 Celsius, I believe. Should be all right. And then when we're done, show you the final product. I'm pretty excited. These hoses are way better. And I kind of wish they had a green, so that way I could just put a little bit of green, but I got the red. Samco hose kit and um, I'm thinking it should uh, should look pretty good replacing all the black ones with red so there's a little bit of red bling why the hell not uh, I will have the link to where I got these in the description again I got these ones from AF1 Racing and I'm pretty happy I think these were I forget how much these were Canadian the hose clamps were 80 bucks Canadian, and then the uh, the hose kit, I want to say... ...200 maybe? 255 or something? Around there? I'll have the link in the description anyway, you can check it out, you can find out your US price, change the currency to wherever you're from. These are pretty dope. Uh, highly recommended, and finally I'm gonna do it. So, here we go. Check it out. All right, so you can see that I'm pretty much all done. Everything's good to go, got it all flushed and I put fresh engine ice in it. Uh, I wasn't gonna bore you with a step-by-step -step how to change coolant hoses. Literally, you do one hose at a time. That's it, literally, one hose at a time. And I did put, uh, obviously, the red Samco hoses on there and the clamps. Uh, it looks actually pretty good. A lot of these are going to be covered up. Um, this is literally just like a quality upgrade with a little bit of aesthetics. Um, a lot of these will be covered up, so it'll be hard to see it with the full fairings on. But right now, the fairings are still off. So uh, I'll give you guys a good look at this, and then uh, we'll cut this video short. So that's it. Those are the hoses there. I think they look pretty, pretty good. show you the other side so yeah pretty good I think they look damn fine if you ask me so those are, those are the Samco 
coolant hoses and the clamps. I think they look really good. The quality is better. They're really easy to install. Like I said, it's literally take one off, put one on, take one off, put it on, take one off, put it on. It's really simple. That's why I wasn't going to bore with a stupid step-by-step -step video. Um, if you are curious, because some of the clamps are a pain in the ass, you can uh, message me or whatever, but a video like this isn't worth a step-by-step, -step, but that's that. I do have uh, another real goody 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 coming from Houston Bike or uh, Houston Superbike Racing.com. Um, I'm not going to keep it, you know, a big secret, but uh, I just want to say it is dope. It does look sick, 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 sick. And uh, it should be here in hopefully, hopefully less than two weeks. We'll see about that. And I also did get a new set of tires. I decided to go with, you'll find out when I get them. It should be here uh, on the 10th, Monday on the 10th. They'll be here. I did get them from fortnine.ca. You know, it's free shipping over 50 bucks. So why not buy the tires? One of the cheapest places to buy tires and get free shipping for in Canada, obviously. So, but that's it. That's the hose kit. I think it looks fresh as fuck. Highly recommend, uh, definitely. The main reason is, is like, yeah, this was a new bike. There was nothing wrong with the coolant hoses, but over time, the rubber ones do kind of wear out. They do kind of fade. And the one-time use clamps suck. You can get, you can, you know, finagle your way and use them maybe once or twice uh, more. Like, so really you could use them like two or three times, I guess, in total, um, possibly get away with it. But each time you use it, it's not getting that nice snug tight, so upgraded that I'm pretty happy with it so far I did have it running uh, no leaks no nothing like that just make sure that these are torqued down properly and not too too tight because you don't want to mess them up um, but yeah really simple easy as pie uh, we'll see if they're really worth the money I'm probably not going to notice a uh, too big of a difference But definitely uh, happy with it. Definitely happy with it. It's working well, so you guys have a good one. Stay tuned for uh, some more upgrade videos and definitely looking forward to getting my new tires on. And drag racing got moved to June 23rd because we were rained out on uh, June 1st there. So June 23rd is the the rain day for the drag race and we're going to go hit up the track and uh, have some fun so you guys have a good one peace